Hi. The music you're hearing is Cornet Chop Suey, a jazz classic recorded in 1926 by Louis Armstrong in his Hot Five. That's a picture of the combo up there on your screen. I'm going to use it to show you some advanced effects in Microsoft's Photo Story 3. I'm assuming that you've already explored the basics of Photo Story. Now I'll show you how to pause for emphasis anywhere during a pan or a zoom, how to do a straight pan without a zoom, and how to include more than one camera movement within a single shot. And we'll do the whole thing with just this one picture. The key to everything is using multiple copies of the same photo. I've already loaded some duplicates of the Hot 5 into the program. There they are, down on the timeline waiting for us. Our goal is to use a series of camera moves to isolate various members of the group. We'll begin by customizing the motion of the first picture. I want to display this initial photo as a still for five seconds. We intend to call our own shots, so check the box at the top that says specify start and end position of motion. Adjust the framing and check the box that says set end position to be the same as start position. That eliminates the pan and zoom in order to give us our still picture. Then set the time to hold the shot for five seconds. Next, we're going to zoom in on Pops. We bring up picture number two, which is identical to picture number one. Go back to the Customize Motion screen, and the first thing to do is click on the Transition tab. Then uncheck the box that says Start Current Picture Using a Transition. This is important. Eliminating the transition gives us an invisible cut from picture to picture making it all appear to be part of a single, unbroken camera movement. Okay, back to the Customize Motion page. Check the box that says you'll do your own framing, and check the box that says the start shot should be the same as the end shot in the previous picture. That's your basic cut. When we're chaining pictures like this, every shot in the sequence begins where the previous one left off. For the end shot, zoom in to frame pops. Next, we'll bring up picture number three for another brief freeze frame. In general, a short pause before the camera changes direction helps to smooth out a shot. Remember to uncheck the transition and check the box that says we'll frame the shot ourselves. Again, the current shot starts where the last shot ended and finishes in the same place. Now we'll do a pan from Pops to Johnny Dodds and Johnny St. Cyr. As always, we control the horizontal. We control the vertical. In this case, we start and end in the same position. That way, the framing boxes will both be exactly the same size. But this time, drag the end box over to frame the two Johnnies. This creates a clean pan with no zoom and we'll follow that by another pause before we move on. This is what it all looks like, with our six invisible cuts producing the appearance of a single continuous shot. From here we'll just repeat these effects, panning over to Kid Ori and Lil Harden Armstrong, zooming in for a quick close-up, pausing briefly, and then zooming back out to show the whole group. That's the entire sequence from beginning to end. As far as anyone can tell, it's all one camera shot. By creatively applying these basic effects to your own videos, you'll have much finer control over your work. Enjoy yourself. I hope you make some really great videos. I'm Bob Toomey. Thanks for watching.